right, you all, this is your digital planner tutorial showing you how to use your digital planner on your iPhone in GoodNotes. The first thing you want to make sure you do is go ahead and download the app if you do not have it already. Okay, now it's time to open up your app and you will see your digital planner right there. Then once you open it, you can go ahead and turn the screen so you can use it in landscape. Now, as you can see, there are tabs along the top as well as the side, and you can easily click any tab to get to the location that you desire. We are going to start with the tab that's labeled order forms. There are a total of 96 order forms. So let's go ahead and play with one of them. Okay, as you can see, there is an easy drop down box at the top that you can actually press on the text box and you can choose whichever text font as well as size that you prefer. And then you can just simply type in the name versus having to write it in with a little pen or pencil or finger. It's so easy to use. I absolutely love this. As you can see, I'm just changing the font size so I can be able to make it more visible for me. I'm going to put the order date. Let's say she's ordering today and she wants to have it by when. Hmm, you know how people do. They want it by Friday. So let's go ahead and put that in as well. I'm going to put the time that you ordered, which is 10 a.m. today. And then um, you can choose the a.m. by simply just using like the highlighter. If you would like, you can use your planner whichever way you choose. This is just how I'm going to use it. I'm just going to highlight a.m. to show that that's when she ordered it. And then when we go down to the pickup and delivery date, that's where I'm going to put the date that she desires to have it completed by. And once again, I can do the exact same thing with changing the font size, making it bigger and more visible. Um, also adding in the time of when she wants to pick up this order by. And of course, once again, you can use your little highlighter tool or you can simply just type in PM. It's completely up to you. I am choosing the type of item she wants, which is cake pops. She wants them in red velvet flavor and buttercream icing. And then I love this order notes because it gives you the opportunity to include more of whatever your client is telling you. So for example, my client doesn't have any particular design style that she wants. She just wants to make sure that it's red velvet because that's her favorite. That's all she cares about. So she's giving me the free reign on how I would like to design them. OK, so now I'm going to actually take it and put it in a place where it's going to look great. And then I can also choose if she's a first time customer or if she isn't. Well, this customer is actually a repeat customer from Instagram. So I'm going to put that in my notes as well. So anytime I want to go and refer to this, I can see who my client is, where I know her from, um, why she ordered from me and what she's ordering. OK, isn't this amazing? Now we zoom back out and let's see what else we can play with. Okay, I can click on the receipt recipes tab if I want to put in a recipe, but I want to play with stickers. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so let's say we want to put in someone's birthday on the calendar. I'm going to go and do the drop down so I can choose my lasso tool and circle it, then do a screenshot and save it to my camera roll. Once I go from there, I'm going to go to where I want to put this, which is on December 8th because it's my nephew's birthday. Um, I'm going to do the drop down tool again, choose image, resize it by using the little arrows. Look how simple that is. And then I want to crop it to take some of that white out. So I'm going to drag it as close as possible. Okay, that looks good. And then let's say I want to add his name, Junebug. So let's type in Junebug. Okay, I don't need you to correct me. <laughs> Let me type it in again. Junebug's 10th birthday. All right. Put that right there. Mm. Oh, and I can add some color to it if I want to as well um, by simply just clicking on it. But I'm going to go ahead and go into my week and then put the things that I need to bring for Junebug's birthday. So on that Wednesday, Junebug's birthday, this is his birthday party. And let's see. I am responsible for bringing the cake. So let me go ahead and put that in there as well. 
just move this up. Okay. Bring the cake. That's good enough. Make it big. All right. And then this is what I was talking about with playing with color. Um, let's see. Just change the text color. See? Look how cool that is. Simple, easy, breezy. And then just uh, let's exit out of there. You see it's on the calendar. June 8th, June Bug's 10th birthday. Love this. All right. Now let's see what else I can do. Oh, the 4th is National Cookie Day. Let's do something for that. Cookie sell online. Okay. So I'm going to add that because we are bakers and National Cookie Day is a great day to have a cookie sell. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the money because this is a reminder that I can actually increase my sales um, if I make some cookies for National Cookie Day. I am a baker. All right. Take a screenshot. Save it to the camera roll once again. And then we're going to go back to December. And I'm going to add that on that date as well. Go back, add an image. Once again, crop. Mm -hmm. And then make it smaller. And let's just bring it over there. How cool is this? You just play around with it until you get it to look how you want it to be. And then on my week, for that week, if I just click on the week, it'll bring me to that week. And I can go ahead and add more details if I like. So I'm just playing around with the tab so you all can see. Let's go back to December. All right, let's go in that week. Okay, Saturday is cookie day, National Cookie Day. So on Friday, I want to make sure I put myself a note to update the website. So I'm just going to put a little note here. All right. Like I can put it to being um, a center font and just move it around. Ensure website is updated for cookie. Dagnamit. Why did I do that? Okay, delete that and just put it back. Change the font color if I like. Put it where I want. And we're good to go. And once again, the cookie sale is on Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my top priorities for the week as well. Just so I can have it in both places and it's always visible to me. Cookie sale goes live. Yes. All right. So that's about it. I just want to play around a little bit to show you how easy it is to use on your iPhone. Of course, if you have an iPad, you can download and use there as well or any type of tablet or phone. This is just showing you how to use it on your iPhone in the app GoodNotes. Okay. I can't wait to hear how you like this planner. It's a baker's planner and it has all national holidays for baking. I hope you have a great time using it.